and welcome to another episode of The Social Connection. I am your host, Luis Mendieta, and today, oh, do we are going to have fun. We have someone who's going to talk to us about how to have fun on the water. Let's welcome Bill Nick Nicopolis. Yep. <laughs> how All right. are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. Are you of the Orion Marine Center? Is that correct? Correct. What can you tell us about that? Um, well, we started it, actually, I started working there back in 1990, shortly after it was opened. Um, I started working there as a mechanic, actually, believe it or not. And as through the years, I went up and slowly climbed the ranks, so to speak, as, you know, being a manager, a service manager, um, selling and, and doing all that sort of thing. Um, and then in, in 2008, actually, when everything kind of declined and the uh, original owners wanted to retire, uh, they offered me an opportunity to take over. Wow. Just like that. Just amazing. <laughs> and you, you felt good at the time when that happened? Uh, very excited and very scared. As most uh, people that's would true. That's true. Well, <laughs> becoming an entrepreneur is not a bit easy. But as soon as you lose the fear of trying to do something like that, I think that is the most wonderful thing that you can have. It is that's very a rewarding. Yes, it is exciting to meet so many people. Yes. Well, tell us about what uh, Orion Marine Center is. Uh, well, first and foremost, is a, a full service boat store. Uh, we sell uh, a new Manitou and Berkshire pontoons. We're a full service service department, so any of the Mercury or Evinrude or Volvo engines that need to be serviced, uh, we have certified technicians on staff for those and uh, can service just about anything there. Um, you know, insurance claims, uh, damage uh, happens either on the road or on, on the water. Um, a full parts department for all of that fun stuff, a full accessories department, is including all the tubes and skis wow. and and all the fun kind of stuff that you do on the water. So you actually carry a lot of things with uh, uh, water sports and everything, I'm sure, too. Correct, yes. Yeah. Well, that's good. What happens in the summertime with your business, the type of business that you have? What do the people normally do? Well, as soon as it starts getting nice, everybody that are a current customer or boat owner, they want to get all their boats out of storage and get them in the water and um, to enjoy them as it's a pretty short season here in, in Michigan. Um, so it's getting them out, uh, getting them prepped for the spring and, and summer, doing their sp uh, spring services, getting them cleaned and detailed, um, and, uh, and getting them transported to their lake or put them right on Lake Orion where we're at. Do you guys carry a storage place where you can storage a lot of the things uh, the people of boats will have or, or you don't provide with that? No, nope, definitely have a full uh, storage area just off of Clarkson Road here in Lake Orion. Okay. Uh, we have 10 acres out there as well as inside storage. Wow. And that's also where our large crane is at that unloads all the boats that come in. Well, that's wonderful, that's, that's good. And it's great to know that, that you care for it and you take good care of all the boats when mm -hmm. it's the time. And, um, and I'm sure that right now as the season is prime season right now you're very busy and we want to thank you for being here anyway but i wanted to know how do you prepare everything at this time of the year now the everything starts again bringing the boats and how do you do that uh well it's a controlled chaos so to speak uh, mm -hmm. we have a, a very good service manager that uh, kind of organizes and schedules all that fun stuff uh, he has to also uh, put up with the new boat department getting new boats delivered to the new customers and um, very just a, a very good team. We have a couple of new people that are doing a great job and taking care of organizing and delivering and all that stuff. Um, and added another new truck uh, to the delivery uh, spectrum and just uh, try to stay on time and keep everybody smiling. Uh, that's good. <laughs> so w if let's say I was a first time customer and I'm going to see you uh, and I'm looking for a boat, uh, do you let me ride one of those boats or do, what do you let me do? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, we try to narrow down to what what kind of boating you're going to be doing because, um, you know, much like a car, you know, mm -hmm. some people just want a car, some people need a truck, some people need a heavy-duty truck. Mm -hmm. So we need to kind of find out what kind of boat you want first, okay. and then we can offer a test drive on that s specific boat, so to speak. So I guess you have like fishing boats, you might have something for the family that you can have a good time, or something just to relax and enjoy the ride. Correct. Uh, um, all of our pontoon boats, like any other boat, they can be sp specific, uh, you know, have specific uh, duties, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, the fishing boat's a little bit more uh, specific than uh, if you're just going to be a pleasure boat. Mm -hmm. We have pontoons that go quite fast and handle like sport boats. Wow. Um, and then you're just regular old, uh, you know, luxury, lounging around, having a good day kind of boat. <laughs> That's good. That's nice. Now, you also can customize some things uh, in boats when they order like something and they don't have that particular item that they need. Can you customize for them to also? We can accommodate most things okay. as long as it doesn't go out of the structural, mm -hmm. you know, type of uh, the structural portion of the boat. 
Uh, definitely different graphics, uh, different colors, uh, custom colors, custom graphics, um, custom canvases as well as we have an in-house canvas shop right on site there. Well, that's wonderful. I think, uh, now tell me about the people who work with you. What kind of people do you have working in this establishment? Boy, they kind of come from all over. Um, you know, they uh, you know, a lot of obviously Lake Orion people and Oxford people work for us. Um, the uh, they live on quite a few of our employees live right here on Lake Orion and or uh, one of the lakes in Oxford. Um, some of them come from the Waterford area. Um, just kind of all over, uh, different uh, different backgrounds, different uh, you know colleges, all that kind of good stuff. Wow, I, I think it's wonderful. I always wonder, you know, how to maintain your boat, how, uh, even though during the summertime, you know, which you go through so many places and you have to maintain that boat clean because uh, it is good, you know, sometimes the algae and all that stuff creates a lot of stuff into your boat and it's, uh, it's a special products and things that you, you actually sell there too that can help. Oh, most definitely. We uh, we sell um, the products that we also use on your boat. So if uh, you're a do-it-yourselfer, we do have um, all the products right there on hand. If you want to you know, clean the bottom of your boat, the specific waxes, oils, lubes, all that kind of fun stuff is all available to you. And they're all, uh, most of them are all OEM stuff. So it's OEM specific, uh, whether you have a mercury or an Evernood or a bubble. All right. Now, is this a special permit that people need to have in order to have a boat? Um, not really a, a permit, so to speak, but they do have a sort of a license plate. They're oh, uh, the Michigan uh, watercraft uh, numbers that go on the side. Uh, if you purchase a new boat, we take care of all of that uh, with the Secretary of State, just like a, a car dealer would. Um, and uh, other than that, unless you have an extremely wide boat, there's no other permits that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what kind of safety tips you can give us for those boaters up there who are in the summertime having a good time but now since we have so many devices music you know sometimes alcohol involved and all this what would you say will be the tips that you can tell people to keep it safe this summer well just uh, like driving you be a defensive boater um, constantly look around of what your surroundings are because there are some people that may not be as cautious as the the person driving the boat um, and again, the, the alcohol thing is, is a little more prevalent on the water than it is in, in, a, uh, in a vehicle. Yeah. So you have to uh, be wary of uh, your surroundings as far as that goes of other people mostly. Yeah, I, I'm sure with the sun, the hydration, and you drinking alcohol, you're thinking that it's like water, which is not, and it's going to make you a little bit, you know, oh, I don't feel that well, and I'm driving this, and the water is going up and down. So I'm sure that it gives you different feelings, and, and that's why things happen sometimes. But um, I want to ask you also, uh, what kind of activities uh, do you guys do with your boats and all this? Do they have shows? Do, do you have any um, kind of uh, special events that they can show everything that you have in your store? Uh, of course, um, uh, the boat shows, we, we attend uh, a few of them every year. The, obviously, the largest one is the Detroit Boat Show, okay. which happens uh, normally the mid of February, where it's uh, nice and warm then. And <laughs> I'm sure that uh, that's when everybody comes down, kind of the big push off for hoping the summer comes soon. And uh, so that's the biggest show is the one we normally sell the most boats at. And we display, you know, several boats down there for uh, people to take a peek at and they can go around and look at what everybody else has to offer as well. Now, do the people come from all the states to Michigan to get boats and, and take them somewhere else? You would be surprised how many people come from out of state to buy boats in Michigan, especially people on coastal. Uh, waters because mm -hmm. they especially if they're looking for a used boat they want to want something that's been in the fresh water all of its life right. instead of in salt water oh wow that's interesting something that I was going to talk to you about the difference between the boats it makes a difference in the type of boat depending on the water like salt water and, and you know sweet water I guess different type of water it's a difference uh, there is a difference uh, the way the boat not necessarily structurally built but how uh, the electrical system is grounded, so to speak. So if it's in salt water, it'll have uh, different grounding cables and uh, different uh, sacrificial anodes or more of them mm -hmm. on the outside of the boat. Now, can you tell us a little bit about uh, different lakes? You know, let's say that if I want to go in a, a small boat and, and just have a nice ride and just be comfortable, what should I go for that here in Michigan that is, is pretty good and safe, that nothing will happen? Let's say for, you know, other people who like to just kind of have a nice relaxing ride or also uh, a more uh, fun place to be in a, with a boat, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, it depends on the boat, of course. But what I'm asking is uh, if you can give us different options in different lakes that people can do different events and different things 
and on those lakes. What, what lakes there will be uh, around here? Well, there is um, obviously Lake Orion's a, a very fun lake. Uh, we have a lot of activities on Lake Orion. We have a, a great Fourth of July fireworks show. Uh, we also have the Dragon on the Lake, uh, which is, um, gosh, I think five years old now. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, we, we actually, a few years ago, when the first year that they had that, they'd asked us to build a, uh, just a paper mache dragon for the Dragon on the Lake. Oh, wow. And uh, we had an, uh, an old pontoon that we took everything off of the deck. Uh, we made some ribbing in it to look like ribs, and um, we actually shrink wrapped it. Oh. We made a steel head. We had cut out a, a head out of steel and ran some uh, um, lines up to the nose and actually made it a fire-breathing dragon that wow. still runs on Lake Orion at every, drag at every dragon on the lake now. Wow. Um, so it came out very nice. I think, you know, events like this create a, a, a really good atmosphere. People will love to come, and I'm sure every year gets better, better, and better. Um, this year, what, you, what is the next event that is coming up? Uh, well, the next one will be the fourth, big 4th of July thing that is actually on the lake. Obviously, okay. Lake Orion itself has many other things going on downtown. But uh, on the lake, the, uh, the 4th of July fireworks is what's going to be the, the next big event. Well, wow, that's great. It's going to be fireworks? I sure hope so. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> I just want to know, see, you know, being in a boat right there, sitting there and seeing the, you know, fireworks going around, it's a nice feeling, you know. You, you're comfortable, you feel good, you feel great, and I think this, this is wonderful. Definitely a different perspective when you're, you're under the fireworks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, also I wanted to ask you, um, to be able to maintain your, your boat and, and, and everything and, and the place that you, you have them and you keep them, you also are able to create uh, things. For instance, I noticed that when you cover your boats and all this is special plastic, what is it they're made of? What is that kind of well, stuff? Well, shrink wrap. It's, it's yeah. a, basically a plastic. It's uh, generally a, what we use is a seven mil plastic. It's the thickest that you can purchase. Um, we try to put the best of everything on, on everybody's boat. And basically the whole thing is covered. It is, uh, we put like a tent inside with two by fours and some banding and it is heated up with a big torch basically so it makes it taunt so when the snow s rests on it, it doesn't, c you know, cave in or collapse or anything like that. It, it, well, you know, that's what I was going to ask you, you know, when the snow gets in, it's snow, it doesn't affect anything, the plastic at all. It's keep it, you know, nice and no, clean. We actually put in a um, couple of um, anti-mildew um, products that go inside of the boat oh. and also there's several vents into the into the shrink wrap that we put in there so they uh, you know the wind can you know blow around and keep fresh air in there well that's great that's good well friends i want to tell you uh we're here with bill uh nicolopoulos and uh we are talking about orion marine center uh, we'll be back in a short moment so we'll see you shortly Hello and welcome once again and we're still here talking with Bill and we're going to continue talking about Orion Marine Center and uh, I asked you before earlier what is it like when I go to your store and um, how do you, uh, the people who work for you, feel about working uh, in your company? Well we have a, a great team this year, uh, we've, again we've uh, hired a few new people to help our expanding business. Uh, I think we've made some great choices. Uh, we continue to educate all of our technicians and our, uh, you know, our service staff. A um, little bit different than what the car dealerships do. Uh, they have to send them to Ford School or GM School, where we have multiple lines where we have to send each of our guys to each one of those schools. So we spend a, a large amount of, of money training our staff and making sure they know what they're supposed to be doing on your boat. So you, they get like certifications and something like that? Like uh, they get Correct. certified on things? That's yep. good. That's, that's excellent. Um, the services that you offer besides selling boats, what else do you sell in your store and, and your marine there? Well, the main thing we sell is fun. That's what we're there to do is make that's sure everybody good. has a good time. Um, but other than selling boats and servicing boats, we also have a, a full service uh, marina at the other end down okay. there, which uh, Scott and Kathy Campbell run or own, mm -hmm. and um, they have boat rentals. Uh, they are brand new boat rentals uh, every year, so they're not old, uh, you know, used up pontoons or brand new every single year. Um, we also have boat docks available uh, mm -hmm. for the season, and we also have a, a you know, a gas station or a gas dock at the uh, at the marina there, which is the only one on Lake Orion. Oh wow, that's that's excellent. It's good to know that if I have 
few friends and we would like to have a good time, we want to go on a boat ride, we can always go and get some rentals and find out about it. Correct. I think, I think that's wonderful. That's something that we can provide to a lot of people friends and you know mm -hmm. family to to do something different this summer and instead of just you know staying at home not doing nothing you know just have fun and get some in the water and, and, and get some things now do you also have anything like uh inner tubes anything like that that people can have fun oh uh, definitely we have a, a, a large selection of inner tubes um skis uh, all that kind of fun stuff to go out and be towed behind your boat and, and try to knock people off and get them wet that kind of stuff <laughs> uh big squirt guns uh, all oh, that kind wow. of fun sure. stuff that you do in the summer I'm sure the kids would love that with, the, you know, square guns and everything like that. They're always looking forward to get wet, you know, <laughs> so I'm sure definitely. that they can get grandpa or grandma wet or somebody. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to know, um, when you are together with the marina and you have your, bo your boats and all that, how do you guys work together? Is it a um, just, like, just like any business, obviously we work very, a little more closer together than what a lot of businesses do because everything I do affects them, everything they do affects me. Um, so we pretty much communicate just about every day, if not many times a day. <laughs> oh yeah, well I, I can imagine. Now when you guys do any festivities, like I mentioned that before, like you said the 4th of July, besides the 4th of July, do you guys have something after that or anything that you get, gather people and get you know things together? or? Any cookouts that they you do, or something like well, a shrimp, or something like that. Well, we, as I mentioned before, the dragon on the lake is, oh, is coming right. pretty soon. But actually, the one thing I did I forgot earlier is uh, uh, Culver's does have a poker run for the hot rods that raises money for a charity and everything, and and we've uh, we're part of that this year as well. Okay. Um, so we help out that way. But the next big thing after Fourth of July is the uh, dragon on the lake, which is a a large. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you say it. A festival, so to speak. Okay. Uh, it's very popular with the dragon boat races and the lighted boat tour and, and um, all that fun kind of stuff. All right. Now tell me, how can we get in touch with you? Because uh, I'm sure a lot of people they wonder. Okay, I would like to know how can I get in touch with you? How can I talk to you about you know telling us about the boats and different things and events or anything that we can do for this summer? Well, our uh, phone number is two four eight six nine three two four zero zero. Uh, we do have a website, which is orionmarine.com, okay. um, which will show uh, all of our new and used products on there. Uh, we also, uh, if you want to email us, it would be orionmarinesales at aol.com. Okay. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> all right. Well, good, good. I mean, I'm, I'm always glad to know that there's ways that we can get connected. We want everybody to know that you guys can provide with so much, you know, uh, for this summer especially. And I know that... Uh, even if it's not this summer, there will be another summer or anything like that, but people who are interested in knowing how uh, the boating industry is, you know, they can always come and see you mm -hmm. and you being an expert and learning all, knowing all this about, you know, uh, boats, uh, it would be wonderful to know. So I am really, really thankful that you came here with us today. And uh, please, don't forget to see us again here. I am your host, Luis Mendieta, and this is The Social Connection. Till next time.